All right, here's a fun one. Let's find the centroid of the shaded area. So this is the area between two functions. This function right here is the 4 minus 1 16th x squared. This function right here is 4, right? Kind of y is equal to 4. Um, all right, but if you do it like I, how I like to do it, here's my dA. Oh, sorry. First, let's... Blah. First, let's write our equation. x bar is integral x tilde dA over integral integral dA. y bar is integral y tilde dA over integral dA. What is x tilde? What is y tilde? What is dA? Let's start with dA. What is dA? What is the area of this? It, I, drew, I drew it pretty thick, but you know, the, the base is always dx. The height, what is the height? The height is top minus bottom, right? The height is top minus bottom. What is the top? The top is always 4. And what is the bottom? The bottom is always 4 minus, let me, 4 my, top minus bottom. Top minus, and the bottom is 4 minus 1 16th x squared. So maybe you already saw this that the, the height is 1 16th x squared, right? 4 minus 4 minus, and minus. so those add to 0, or subtract to 0, and then minus and minus. So this is really, let me write this again, really 1 16th x squared dx. What dA is 1 16th x squared dx. X tilde always going to be x for these problems, right? What, what is the low, what is the x coordinate of that? It's just x. We're going from zero to eight. It, it is just x. Y is a little bit harder. Y is the average of the top and bottom, right? The centroid is the middle of that rectangle, and the middle of that rectangle would be the average of this point and that point, right? The average of that point and that point, right? It'd be in the middle. The average of this point and this point. So it's always going to be the average of the two numbers. What's the average of two numbers? You add them together, divide by two. So I'm going to add four is always the top, and the bottom is always four minus one sixteenth x squared uh, divided by two. And so that is the y tilde, the y coordinate of the centroid of dA. Uh, and maybe we'll just leave it like that. It, you know, I'll say 8 minus 1 16th x squared divided by 2. You know, it could say like 4 minus 1 over 32 x squared. Uh, but that is... All right. And I think that was the hardest part of this problem. Now it's just plugging it in. And actually the math is a little bit hard. I might skip a little bit of it. Uh, let you do that on your... Own. All right, but x bar would be the integral of x tilde. What is x tilde? It's x. dA. What is dA? 1 16th x squared dx over integral of dA. What is dA? Right here. 1 16th x squared dx. So this would be x cubed. What is the integral of x cubed? x to the yeah, fourth over 4. All right. And what's the integral of x squared? x cubed over 3. Still have that 1 16th. All right. Uh, I, I could uh, divide that through, but, but, and maybe I should, should do that. But I always like to go ahead and get the denominator. I like to go ahead and get the value of this, right? We're going from 0 to 8, going from 0 to 8, uh, because I'm going to reuse that in my y, right? I'm going to reuse that in, in the same as the x and the y. So my instinct mathematically would be to cancel those 16ths out, but I'm not going to. Let me do, let's see, 1 16th. Let's see. 8 to the 4th over 4, and, and 0. And then this is going to be 1 16th, 8 cubed over 3. 
and 0. Uh, this is 64, 10.66. This is 6. Hmm. All right, came out to a very whole number. You, it, 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 uh, don't assume it will. Don't assume it will. Okay. All right, and now the Y bar. All right, the Y bar is going to be integral Y tilde, which is this, 8 minus 1 16th X squared over 2 times dA. dA is 1 16th x squared dx over integral. And actually, I've already done the, this once. Let's don't do it twice. The denominator is the same right there. Denominator is the same right there. So here, uh, I think what I would probably do is, I don't have the math in front of me. I'm not going to try to do this I'm gonna, I would probably multiply this through, right? Multiply this through. This is really two terms. Take the integral of the first term, take the integral of the second term, integrate it from zero to eight. And so this, you might could do it in our head, but I'll let you try to do this. Um, you know, multiply this four times this and take its integral and multiply this times this, and takes it, take its integral, uh, integrate from zero to eight, see if you can do that, and get 2.8 is the y bar. 2.8 is y bar. Okay? All right, so you can leave them like that, or you can put, uh, you know, x bar, y bar is 6, 2.8, and I like to have units somewhere in your final answer. All right.